Should I do the whole video in this accent? Uh, I don't think you could. I don't think so either. Should I try? You could try. No. What's going on guys? Kaivox here and Mika Chi. We are doing our TBR and wrap up for J J May and June. Not that you guys understand, right? Wrap up for J J May and <laughs> TBR for J J June. Yeah, we didn't read very many. I already lost the accent. We didn't read very many books and don't plan on like reading a super lot of books next month. So we're going to make it one video. Yeah, I only read two books. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> High five, Ben. How many did you read? Are we doing TBR or wrap up first? Wrap up. Wrap up? We're doing that wrap nine, up nine. first? Stop, 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 okay. stop, stop. Let's do the wrap. Wait, what's the wrap up? Ah, you bit my face. Okay, stop. The first book that I finished this month was your book that you read, that you starred. I did star it. I starred Reborn it. Reborn Apocalypse by L.M. Kerr. Kerr? Kerr. I think it's Kerr. I liked this book. But. Not as much as you. Um, I just think I didn't love the world it was in and like this atmosphere and the setting as much. It was very dark and like. Apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. What's in the What's the name of it again? I just want to make sure that we're on the same page here. Reborn Apocalypse. Uh huh. I and don't know. it was apocalyptic. I didn't overly love any of the characters. I didn't overly love the the world, but I did think the story was well done and well written. It's like saying like, see, like I liked the Little Mermaid, but I just felt like it, the world was too wet. Dude, shut up. Give me that. I gave it a four. Ow, that's my face you're pushing it up against. Four, that's not bad. That's, no, that's I enjoyed decent. it. Like like I said, the, the world wasn't... I'll allow it. Wasn't my favorite, and the characters weren't necessarily my favorite, but it was well written, and I liked the story. So I would continue. I don't think the next book is on Audible yet. I cannot see myself sitting down and like physically reading it because I just don't think I enjoyed it that much. Your friend did, though. Did he like the second one? Okay. I love how you're not saying anything. I just said a bunch of things. Then we both read a book. Which one? Our last month's book club pick. Oh, this little guy? By the way, our printer's like out of ink, so that's why all of our papers look bad. Yeah, it's supposed to look like that, but it looks like this. <laughs> it's like pink. This is the author of My Best Friend's Exorcism. This is the author. Grady Hendrix. Um... I feel like this book was way better written than We Sold Our Souls. Um, not, I didn't love it as much as I loved um, My Best Friend's Exorcism. However, the writing was on point. I really liked the characters. I liked the story. I, I pretty much just enjoyed my way through the whole thing. Um, What'd you give it? We're doing that now? I thought we were talking about it a little bit. Oh. So, I liked the fact that there was no romance. I liked the the female characters in this and, like, how they were portrayed and, like, they were kind of, like, stronger female characters. Um, there's a lot of some, like, deep, dark stuff they talk about, too, in this book, but I feel like it was done tastefully and in a good manner. And it was just a good book all around. Like, I really enjoyed it. I don't think it was one of my favorites ever. Like, I think because I put it, like, I try to compare it to my best friend's exorcism. And I just loved that book so much that it just, like, it's not that. So I feel like I can't give it a five. But, yeah. Um, I, it's not my type of book. Normally. No, it's not. It still isn't my type of book, but it was a good book. It was written well, very well. Um, it was interesting the whole time. If it didn't have the vampire thing, I wouldn't have liked it at all. Mm. If it was just the rest of the stuff, and let's say it was just like a serial killer, I would have been like, ugh. Yeah. Ugh. The, the vampire, supernatural part But that's what Grady Hendrix does so well. Like he makes like, he yeah, he incorporates like weird demonic slash evil things but like and has like a group of characters that's like really diverse and like cool and puts them all together and like 
he just writes people very well, I feel, but I just didn't like the people in We Sold Our Souls. But this is much better. So I recommend My Best Friend's Exorcism, then this. I can't say anything about Horror Store because I haven't read it yet. You have it, though. The I Ike do. The Ikea one. I do. I should read that this month. Can you do me a favor? Stop moving around so much. Move closer to me. Oh. You're off the shot. Look at that. Look at you. Your your shoulder is was sticking out. I give it no. A four. All right. What did you give You think it? it was as good as Reborn Apocalypse? Yes. Yes. Maybe even a little more so. I should maybe give it a 4.5. What? Come on. You're it's, nuts. It was a good book. You're crazy. You're crazy, girl. I gave it a slightly less lesser than you. 3.5. Pretty close, though. Um, I don't have any books on my bottom half. I've also read, like, more less than half of what you've read. You have to press it down more. But I also have a star do you have a star no nope. i have a star i don't want to talk about it and guess what book it was the one that we were just talking about that you said was not that good it's not a star it's a star no it's a hundred percent a star we have to disagree it's a hundred percent a star then i read a book from a series that he doesn't like let's not talk about how much you don't like this series obelisk or is it stone sky or yeah. something like that i freaking loved the first book i mean like overly loved it i really enjoyed the second book i think technically i should have given the first book a star and the second book a five and then dude you better stop does it go here no. in the one section okay stop i don't know how to describe this book besides the fact that it's kind of a post-apocalyptic world written around people that can manipulate the earth why is this one blue and that one's green? <laughs> because our printer sucks. I can't really talk too much about the plot, but unfortunately I didn't love this book as much. A lot of it is actually written in the minds or in the... What, I can't think of the word. The oh, point of view. Yeah. Point of view. Uh, a big... Not a big portion. A decent portion of this book is written in the point of view of characters that I can't really tell you who they are because it would ruin book one and I didn't really love it um I forgot to mention rewind a little bit I was supposed to read the second book of the Belgariad series it's like queen of sorcery or something and I just legit didn't feel like reading it so I chose this instead I put that in my TBR jar this is a sequel that that TBR jar is full of sequels I figured like I'll just replace it with another sequel and I wanted to finish this series um, we have a like a, a New Year's resolution where if we read a book and we start reading it and it sucks and we don't enjoy it, we're not going to force ourselves I just wasn't to continue in the to mood read. for that book. I didn't even start it, but I was just like... Oh, you didn't even start no, it? No, I, I just knew that I wasn't in the mood for it. So I was like, why am I going to do this to myself? So I, I read this. I enjoyed it. Um, however, I don't know. I felt like... Book one had so much mystery and intrigue and like book two just kind of like played off of that but it was less mystery and intrigue and this one I just feel like nothing overly epic happened for the ending and I was a little sad about that. However, I think she is an absolutely amazing writer and I have another series by her that I can't wait to read because she's really good at writing. Okay. Oh. No, up, up. Oh, I was like, oh. 3.5. Mm -hmm. I'm just comparing it to the other one. Do you want to do yours? No, you go. I want to be last. All right. Then I read my wrapped book, which was Made Things by Adrian Tchaikovsky. This is the guy, I think it's a guy, that wrote Children of Time. Adrian? Yeah. Isn't that a man's name? I think so. Okay. Um, I really liked Children of Time, so I thought, like, all right, this is going to be good. I was so bored. So bored. Oh, Children of Time. Yeah. Spider-Man. Oh, you're the one that's always like, why It's are you on the back that? of the book. It's not. It's on Goodreads. It's on the back of Goodreads. And I didn't spoil anything. I know. The, here's the thing. If you say that something is a spoiler, people focus in on that. And now it becomes a spoiler. 
You see? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't really even tell you what this book was about. You it's read about it. A girl that's like living on the streets and her parents aren't around and she makes these puppet people. And I just thought, I, I don't know, it's boring. I'm sorry. It's not that it was badly written. I just couldn't get into the story. I didn't care about it. If it wasn't like 100 pages, I would have DNF'd it. Are we in the bottom? Bottom half? Wow. Sorry, but I did not like that book. Wow. My turn. My last book I read this month. It was a book by Andrew Rowe. Bum, bum, bum. So, if you're in the U.S., I found out this the hard way, that Audible Originals are only a U.S. thing. And, like, I felt really bad because I told one of our patrons that it was a thing that, like, all um, Audible members got. And it's not, apparently, in other countries. So... Here, if I here, if you have Puberty. an Audible subscription, you get it was two Audible originals a month. Um, but I think since this whole virus thing, they've increased it to like unlimited temporarily. So by the time you watch this, it'll probably be back to two. And this was one of those. So yeah, what is it about? Oh, I was gonna stick it on here first. Okay, I'm gonna stick it on. Is that good? The four. I maybe even a little bit more. Maybe like four point two five. Um so four point two five. It, oh by the way, it's called did we say what it was called? I think so. Um maybe it's not. called How to Defeat a Demon King in Ten Easy Steps. It's an and it's an only an audible original. Like mm. you can't get the physical book. Uh, I think if you buy it outright, it's like seven bucks. It's fairly short. It's like five hours. Um, and it has nothing to do with the rest of his books. It's very fun. It's very based off of The Legend of Zelda. Okay? Okay. Okay? And, but it's not, it's like a love letter to those old RPGs and stuff like that. But I would say it's like 80% Legend of Zelda, 20% like some uh, uh, Dragon Quest and some other things like that. Wow. Not really wow. I would say like more of the Japanese stuff, mm. you know. Um, it, but it's it's fun the entire time. It's like they things progress very fast because it's a whole story that is told in... Um, in five, you know, five hours or whatever, five and a half hours. All of Audible originals are short. So by the way. it's, but it's it's do it's good. It's just an e a fast easy read that you can get done in like a day, right? If you listen to it, and if you listen to it faster than one speed, then it's even faster. Um, and it's just simple. It wasn't anything like I would like to see more in this world. I think it would be fun. It's very litty, you know. It's a very much a lit RPG. Um, so yeah, there's even a part where they talk about a, like they, <laughs> if you know what speed running is in video games, like you'll get a joke in there that is, has only to do with speed running, hmm. um, which is fun. You know, it's like, it's very lit RPG, you know, that's what it is. It was good. I gave it a four and a half four. or four? Four, and a, four, four. Okay. A four. I couldn't I remember. Um, which it was good. It's it's very good. It's very good. But it, the fact that it's short, and the fact that like it doesn't have the time to like do a lot of character stuff, yeah, kind of takes away from it. The fact that like if it was like a 15, 18 hour book, it would have probably gotten a star. But because it, because I, I love that type of stuff. I love the like data dump, data dump all over me. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of what? Um. What? Speaking of data dumping, onto our TBR. So next month, okay, that, I let... that was a amazing segue, by the way. Like honor award winning, like high honors. I'm very proud of you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I let well, Kai. You just completely forgot. What you I let Kai Vox pick our book club pick oh, this yeah. month. Oh yeah, um, do I have to pull it up? Which is a lit RPG. Yes, I did purchase. The physical book, I don't have it yet. Okay. I didn't know if I wanted the physical book or not because it's a bit on the expensive side. But I am on chapter... 
Here it is. If you guys don't know, oh, yeah, um, I didn't say the name of it. She posts stuff on um, on Instagram, Instagram and um, you know you guys can follow us on there. Mika Chi is her name, and um, that's so, what it's called. Shades first rule suggested by our buddy Fedge. Um, I'm hoping that he actually joins us for the the live stream. So author pen name A F K dude. That is the Get coolest A F K ever. A F K. So I went on his website because um, I, I wanted to see if he had like a social media so I could follow and see when his stuff comes out. But he doesn't that I could tell besides Facebook, but we don't have Facebook. So he said he uses a pen name because he has other books written um, from an actual publisher that he didn't want to get confused with his self-published stuff, I think. Okay. So anyway, this book, how to describe it. I don't even know how to describe the world. I am liking the world much better than Reborn Apocalypse, even though it is also a literary RPG. Um, it's about a boy who, in this world, I, okay, I can't, time out, redo. Do you want me to do it? In this world, you die, and when you, nope, you do it. It's like a video game. When you die, you get reincarnated basically into your your data gets transferred over to a new body um and it takes a couple weeks usually to do it there's a goddess um there are powers it's very statty and very no 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 you said i could do it so don't even try to interrupt after i i did the hard part okay you can take your t ah. <laughs> okay ready um there's even a hud you know a, a heads up display so you can actually see like your stats and stuff and focus on different You're things. You're focusing on the stuff I don't like as much. I don't want to tell them what happens in the book. No, but I'm I I'm telling like, them about the world. I really like the world. So it's, Okay, what if about you, the world? Okay, so I feel like it's written in a way that like sufficiently advanced magic is kind of, but I like the world better. Which is, give me, an, explain to me. You can't just say it's written like it's this other book. Kind Go of ahead, explain. Me of like... No, no, don't compare it to books. Tell me what it does that you like, because you're not telling me that. I don't know. I mean, try. Try to explain it. You can't just, don't just compare it to other things. I like this mug because it's shaped kind of like this mug, but it has a handle. You just described the cup. You see I don't my know point? how to describe the world, but I just like it. Better. I was explaining the world. I was explaining. No, the... you're not explaining. I like the atmosphere. How's that? What? What is the atmosphere? Like, I like the characters better. I like the feel of their interactions. I like You're not the setup of the world. Anything. You're just saying that you like the book. Yeah, pretty much. But you're not explaining why you like it. I'm explaining why I like it. Okay. But you can't explain it. That's most of the book is stats. And most of the book is is mechanics and explaining like what's happening and him getting a bag of holding, basically. Yeah, but I feel like it's written better than... Not better, but it's just written in a way that's... Um, you understand it more? Not that I understand it, but I, that's more to my liking than the other books But that you I've can't written. tell me why. It's just the way it's written. I can't explain why. I'm sorry. But I'm enjoying it. That should make you happy because you chose it. I don't care if you enjoy it or not. Wow. I only care if I enjoy it. You don't like any of the books that I like, so I got I've grown accustomed to you not liking my stuff. So I, I, I don't like even your care stuff. anymore. I, I like it. I, I read my stuff and I'm like, this is pretty good, Meek. If you want to read it, go ahead. Because you know why? Whenever I suggest something to you, you never love it like I do. And then you get mad at me when I don't suggest it to you. That's not true. That literally happened. That literally <laughs> happened, guys. It, it happened. I didn't suggest the book to her, and I said, I don't really care if you read it or not. Yeah, that's rude. But you don't <laughs> like the books that I like. Yes, like... I do. What did I rate Sufficiently Advanced Magic? I liked it. You gave it a four. That's liking no, the book. No, that's slightly above average. Oh, my God. This okay. is average We're right done. here. This is slightly above. That book. This is liked. This is loved. Okay. If I love something, you should at least like it. Okay? This is like, <laughs> yeah. this is love, and that is like, oh my God, love. No, this is love. This um, th this is like. So. 
Shade's First Rule by AFK is our book club pick for the month of June. The video, it's not a video, the live stream will be on June 28th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Anyone is welcome. If you read the book or listen to the book, you can join and talk to us about the book. Wow. You handled that with grace. On to the others. We're doing this? Yeah. So, uh, at the beginning of the year, I wrapped 12 books. How many are left, Meek? Seven. Seven books are left. By the way, wrapping these, oh my jeez. I had to forge these papers. <laughs> it took me like a month per, per side of the paper, and then I had to hand draw all of these and paint them. Grant, look, it took me like at least four years to get this done, to wrap oh these, God. okay? So therefore, you better not, you better enjoy these because look at how beautiful they are. This one looks like denim. I, I basically painted denim onto this book and then wrapped it and it took me forever. Which one do you want? This one? Do you want this one? You want to roll the die? I don't have a die. Yeah, they're over there. So we grabbed a D8. If I roll an eight, we'll just re-roll it. Okay, the eight will be the re-roll and we'll do... One to seven. Does that sound good? Okay, no, no, we gotta do it on camera so they don't think we're, oh no, I, I moved one of them. I gotta put it back. All right, put this right here. Roll. Four. Can you see it? Four. Oh no, it's a big book. One, two, what, let me pick it up. Four. It's a hardcover, though, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Is it? Oh, it's two books. Oh, no. Why, oh, no. Why is it two books? Was I not supposed to do open it? Oh, no. Did I accidentally... How do you accidentally wrap two books? I don't know. I guess when it takes you four months, you think you would perfect how it. It was years. It, it was four, four years. years. read these or is it the same book oh no it's not the same book all right i did not read these the two books in the wayward children series that i did not read by sean and mcguire why did i put them both in there did i have permission to do that yeah they're fine no but did i ask you for permission to do that no. or did i just decide you just that did it. <laughs> i just decided this is gonna be okay so this one is about jack and jill i believe before wayward children and i don't know what this one's about this is the fifth book. Uh oh. You've read a bunch. You don't have to read them in order. Really. I was going to say, you've read a bunch I of read them. I've read three, I think. So four and five. No, this is two. This makes no sense. So you read one, three, three. and four? I have to look it up. But yeah. But you did not read these two? No. Okay. I did not. Is it okay that there's two of them? Because they're short. Yeah, they're short. That's okay. This one's 200 pages. This one's. Like 180. 200-ish. Yeah. Are they okay? Did I do well? Yeah. January 2020. So this one just came out. I think I still only read two in this series. So I, but, but they're I, not sequels to each other? No, like, they all... I you I believe you have to read Wayward Children first. Or, or um, it's Every Heart a Doorway. But then you can kind of read the other ones like whenever. Okay. If not, then... Oh, well. Because okay. I know I read the third one, and I believe the third, something like that. Okay. So there we go. Let me know if you guys read these two and if you liked them. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I was pretty proud of that when I picked those. Now we move on. To my sequel jar. Hopefully it's not something that I don't want to read again and have to change out. Harry Potter and, no, just kidding, The Toll. Oh, you're going to read that too, I think. Oh, no. Decide the sequel. Last oh, one. okay, cool. Yeah, let's do it. I don't have, wait, the book's up here somewhere. Yeah, I'll go get it. 
This book is 625 pages. Yeah, but it's like a good book, so hopefully it'll be like an easy read. Oh you know? my god. So I don't know how you say his name. I think I always screw it up, but it's like Schusterman or Schusterman. I always Schusterman. Say, I always say Schusterman, but I think it's Schusterman. Nah, it's Schusterman. So if you don't know, this is the third book in the side series. I honestly haven't read or listened to any reviews on this book. Um, nice. We read books one and two. We really enjoyed them. So I'm excited to see how it all ends up. And yeah. So that's one of the books that I'm going to read. I'm going to try to read. Work's been pretty crazy lately. I haven't been able to listen to books at work. Yeah. So I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'll try. Um, I'm also listening to Sufficiently Advanced Magic. Again. This is like the third month in a row you're still listening to no, it. No, it's the second. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, we have to read. Because I started it last month, and I think we did that. We recorded everything. Well, I had just, I think I was going to read it. I don't know. Listen, listen. That's like a that's like a guilty pleasure of mine. You know, like it's just like I yeah. just I just like it, so I'm just. But it's not like a priority. So like yeah. I put other books first. Like, but when I don't have anything else, or I just kind of want to read something fun, you know, I I go back to that book. Um, so we have Shades First Rule book club book. Join if you want to read that along with that's us. That's a one that I I am definitely finishing. That's okay. the only one that I am committing a hundred percent to. I only have like six hours left. It's not a long book. No, but it's I like it a lot. Um, and then I have those two. The Toll. I think that's enough for now. If I feel like reading something extra, I'll throw it in there. But if not, I'm not committing to anything else. What about you? No, that's it. You got to read The Toll and Shades First Rule. I said that. I don't have to read The Toll. No, you do. But I don't know if I can. I can. I, the other one's priority. That one's secondary. <laughs> Dogs have to go out. Is that it? Is that all we got? Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let us know what your, if you're picking up any of these, if you're going to join us for any of these reads, um, or if you've read them. Actually, no. Don't let me know if you like any of these, because I don't want your opinion to taint my, uh, uh, at the end of the opinion. But you could tell us what you thought about the ones we did read, if you have read any of those, but just not the ones that we haven't read yet. You can tell me. If no, you like don't tell us. Not. Don't do it. No. I don't mind. Because then it's like it's like now they tell us, and then they're like, you're expecting it to be better than not it really, is. Not really. But they're like, like, oh my god, it's so I'm good. I'm so used oh my god, to like so good. reading book reviews and everyone loving things and me not liking things, so I feel like that won't happen. We're just like so jaded. You I just feel I. like lately I am with books, Yeah, dude. because it's like people just, they're so like fake. Is that bad to say? I feel like half the time people are so like fake. I they're just don't. like I They're mean, just like, oh my God, it's so good. I feel there are people like that, but for the most part, the people that I watch and listen to are legit, like usually really um, sincere about their books, but... We just don't agree. <laughs> like, um, I don't watch any booktube. Yeah, I tend to only watch ones that I find sincere, but like... Except for you. Funny. I only watch your videos. Yay. That's it. But um, I just find that surprisingly, some of the people that I like the most on booktube, I don't agree with them at all about their book choices and whatever, but that's fine. We can all have our own opinions. Uh, that's it. If you made it this far... Put the word. Sticker. Sticker. Oh, okay. Sticker. Sticker. E. I'm going to stick you. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Like the video. Subscribe. Hit the notification thing. All that. You know, whatever. Um, and all that jazz. And if you want to you pick up a book on... Audible. Audible, you can use our code down below. It helps out the channel and all that jazz. You guys know the drill. Patreon, all that bull. Um, thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Go read some more. And say bye, Meek. Bye, Meek. Bye, bye, bye.